critical requirements uh, for having an effective board and I think one of it is um, a very strategic um, engaging board you know and I mean, that simply means that you know they really have to understand the business you know they really have to be involved uh, in the visioning in uh, setting the strategic goals and objective clearly um, in consultation with the CEO you know um, we are seeing a world where there is a movement from passive um, board member to active, active members. So you have to be engaged in, I wouldn't say the nitty gritty, but setting the strategic direction over the years. Yep. Diversity is becoming a critical requirement in the um, present day um, governance of company, uh, in the sense that people bring different perspective um, to the table, you know, and that's the beauty of the quality of the decision. Um, in, the, in, the, in the current wake of globalization, a global village and the rest of that, um, that's very critical for the quality of the decision to be made. You know. As a leader, what's left for what's very critical for me right now, um, I think it's the technology part of things. So I have a background in finance and accounting and there's so much disruption going on in the industry you know and it's a fast-paced industry now global market so you know one needs to be on top of is our game all the time with disrupting you what are the technology requirements you know and be able to to see you know the future you know and to anticipate and take uh, proactive action you know i think that's the most critical requirement for a leader these days you know it goes beyond just transactions, but strategic views. You know, I think that's very, very critical. Yeah.